we're interested in this question of why proteins go to particular places in cells. And it turns out that the simplest decision that a protein has to make is whether to go to one of two parts, the dendrites, which receive electrical signals, or the axon, which transmits electrical signals. We now know that when proteins are not put in the correct place, that it can have really devastating consequences. Many common neurological diseases, like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, are associated with defects in protein targeting. So in order for the cell to put itself together, individual components have to know where to go in the cell. It's like you're trying to put together you know, a radio, say. You've got to put the antenna in the right place and you've got to put the dial in the right place. But the thing is that, that the cell is like a self-assembling radio where you just take all the pieces and you throw them in the pot and a radio comes out. And the reason is that the individual components of that radio know how to assemble themselves. They know how to put themselves in the right place. There are essentially three different things that my laboratory does. So the first thing is that we actually construct these proteins. So we will make a protein that has a particular fluorescent tag on it. Then the second thing we do is introduce these proteins into living neurons. And then finally, we use various microscopy techniques to actually image where these proteins go, where they're located in individual neurons. One of the real advantages to working in a diverse place is that you're surrounded by people from different fields. So here we're surrounded by physicists and chemists and computer scientists and mathematicians. And as a result, you get to know these people and collaborations then can happen organically. And this is really one of the strengths of being in the College of Letters, Arts and Sciences.